Let's begin with today's test. The very first question, please. Do you like outdoor activities? Yes, indeed. I love outdoor activities. I'm quite an outgoing person. When I stay at home and do indoor activities, I really feel lethargic for that reason. I often hit the park, I play sports and do other activities. What outdoor activities do you like? As said, I generally prefer going to the colony park with my friends where we do a bit of yoga, jogging and some other activities. Similarly, I also like to visit the playground where I love to play cricket which is my favorite game with my friends. How much time do you spend outdoor every week? Honestly speaking, because of my studies, I do not get much time on the weekdays and that's the reason why I go out on weekends and uh, I can say at an average two hours on the weekends I spend outside. What types of outdoor activities are popular in your country? There are few other activities, for example, people go for traveling, people have picnic with their family members and uh, apart from the these the activities that i just mentioned are certainly popular how often do you use the internet i can say i cannot live without internet because uh, today it has become part and parcel of our lives and uh, our smartphones are nothing without the internet connection and uh, i can say i use internet most of the time do you think you use the internet too much Unfortunately, like many others, I'm too addicted to it because uh, if nothing, I'm using my smartphone with internet connection, either I'm playing computer game, surfing a website, social networking, all these things uh, I'm quite habitual of. For, the tre for this reason, I can say that I am using it too much. What are your favorite websites? There are certain websites, for example, for entertainment, I give preference to YouTube where I can find lots of uh, informational as well as uh, entertainment videos. Apart from this, I can say that I use Yahoo and other websites to get information related to the different things. What are the positive and negative things about the internet? Well, there are hundreds of positives as we can find all the information at a click. We can save a lot of energy as we can do many works online sitting at home. But of course, the negative aspects are that uh, it is uh, sometimes a waste of time when people use it uh, unwantedly. And uh, of course, uh, it is also having a disastrous impact on the health of people as well for using too much. What kinds of possessions are considered high status to people in your country? I must say that uh, people in my country easily get uh, <clears throat> impressed by your personal possessions and especially if they are really expensive as uh, my country people are also becoming materialistic. So few of the possessions can be expensive smartphones and uh, expensive cars and then people who wear branded uh, clothes and footwear all these positions help them to reflect their high status in society were different possessions thought of as valuable in the past i think in the past society was not materialistic so there were not too many kind of things because uh, there was not much variety of for example there was no technology so i personally believe that uh, expensive clothes like of uh, made of silk and uh, similarly some jewelry especially made of gold and diamond these were some of the possessions that people had in past why do you think people need to show their status in society no doubt even though people do not want to show status in front of others still they have to because when they do not people think they are low profile people keep low opinion for them they think that uh, they have nothing in their lives for that reason just to cast a good impression in front of others people have to show their high status through um, personal possessions do you think advertising influences what people buy undoubtedly because uh, 
people even do not know what they need to buy for example i often visit shopping mall with my friends i never have the intention to buy anything but the way the products are advertised there compel me the way i see the offers for example buy one get two free all these kind of things just easily entice the buyers and they buy the things without giving a second thought which justifies that advertisement has a strong impact on what people buy